everybody. We are here once again with another box of candy from Japan. Um, so I'm just going to get straight to it with my scissors and start opening up this box. Uh, I waited around all day for this one to get delivered. Once I saw on the tracking, it was out for delivery. I waited around all day. So anxious. For finally to get here. Well, it's maybe not as adventurous a selection as I have done in the past. Most of this is the same candy, just in a lot of different flavors. Um, because I really like it. It's quite tasty. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, more packaging. Okay. Once again, a stuffed box. Oh, oh. What I drop? What I drop? Oh, oh. I dropped my napkin thing. Again, see? Different, different artwork. Oh, getting all shine there. There we go. Different artwork. And, oh, they've got a whole new series of the anime glasses. This one almost looks like a Sailor Moon or Scout type of a one. How do I look? Okay. So, I got a bunch of these, um, but I haven't got one in a while because they, they, uh, they ran out of the old series and this is starting up with a new one. Okay. In the box this time, we have bubble wrap. <laughs> To pack it with. Mm. That'll be fun later. Okay, first thing out. Oh, they're dark blue. I thought they were black. Oh well, they are. Um, they're just elastics, basically. Uh, thick elastics, but they are designed to hold a bento box together. I um, unfortunately uh, lost one to my other bento box, but um, so I got a pack of two. Um, the last. I mean, the, the elastics wear out over time. Oh, oh. Got slightly crushed. Slightly crushed. But, pop, yeah, it pops back in, not too bad. This is more of that koala bear cookie cracker thing um, that my daughter really liked. Um, so I got, this one is a different flavor than the last one. So, really cute packaging. It's all shiny too. So I got that for her. And I got another one of the original flavor that I got her the last time, which is a fruit flavored one. Okay. Oh yeah. I wanted to try out this gummy making kit. Uh, I actually just watched a video on it of someone else doing it uh, last night, and it looks like fun. Um, I'll probably save to do this one with my daughter. Eh, I'm not sure. Probably. Okay, and here we go. First flavor. This is the, I would say this is the grape. And then we have the um, original, which is like a pop. And I got six of them. Three of these, by the way. Okay. Oh. Oh, they packaged them up. Definitely. Okay. And then I got three of each of these. See, so there's six in the pack, but there's two different flavors. We have the orange and I think a peach. I can't remember now. I have to double check my... um. Uh, my shipping records just to be sure all the different flavors I got so I have six twelve fifteen of these things they are so delicious obviously I just bought fifteen of them <laughs> oh yippee okay now, I know someone who, um, although she's born, born here, uh, she loves Japan like I do, but unlike me, um, 
she's been there. <laughs> uh, she's worked there for a year. And one of the things she mentioned to me when we were at work together was that they have, their mayonnaise is significantly different than ours. She said theirs is absolutely amazing, super delicious. I was like, well, I really like mayo. Um, let me see. So, majorly, majorly packaged is my little pack of mayonnaise. Japanese mayonnaise. And here it is. It's a mini package. It's very, the bottle is very, very soft and squishy. So there's a little bottle inside up here. You can kind of see there's like a little squeeze top lid in there. And there's a baby sort of character on the front. It must be the traditional um, for the brand. Anyway, so I can't wait to try this. Um, that would be fun. See if it really is as good as she says. Then we got, oh, well, we'll call it this one. Um, these are stamps. Now, a lot of people have seen a very similar sort of thing designed for cutting paper for um, scrapbooking and, and, and that. These are for sheets of nori. Um, and they are little faces that you then put on um, the rice. And one of them happens to be a koala bear. So because of that, I got them for my daughter. I make her um, um, bento boxes for her lunch every day anyways. This one appears to be have fallen apart in the package. Oh, and I was able to get it back together in the package anyway, so no big deals. Okay, so I can't wait to try these out. Um, I'm sure she'll love the them. Plus, I needed a new panda one. Mine's kind of gotten, well, my, mine's kind of gotten must. It does not work anymore. More paper. Oh, there's a lot of this. Um, I mean, as much fun as it is, I would prefer, you know, newspaper or something. Okay. Here is a traditional dessert. It is made out of, um, oh, I just go this way. <laughs> this is the right way. They are, I don't really know what they are. <laughs> um, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce them. I know that the base for it is a, a sticky rice, um, like dough, and it's quite, it's used quite a bit in different traditional things. And this one just seems... I wanted to try out the different desserts that they make with it. So here's a variety pack of some different flavors. I have no idea what they're going to taste like or if I'm even going to like them. But I don't really care. It was fun. It was interesting. But that's it. See, it's just a little box this time. Only a few things. Um, mostly I got these. But um, yeah, and a couple of little things that... Uh, you know, tools that I needed and, and, and that sort of thing, just to, uh, to have some fun with these. And of course, some stuff for my sweet little angel. Mm, she, like him. she really liked these ones, so I'm hoping that she likes this flavor too. Well, that is it for this particular video. So I will see you all again next time. Probably not quite so soon. I think I'm gonna you know, wait a little bit before I make another order. <laughs> Hopefully this candy lasts me a while and I won't get that crazy.